there you go there's the cabin and what we're doing I made two blocks like this with a little bit of half round get a feel for it and put them on the deck here and as you can see that's not the way it looks there's a center deck sticking out in the middle between the two decks so I've half the block and I'm putting this in between as a template and coming up here and doing this now and if I can hold this sideways for you you can see what I'm getting at I'll have an overhang deck and I'll have pillars down here and then I'll most likely plank this with lollipop sticks cut in half down like this all the way around might have to be a little bit more of a round shape that's what I'm working out right now but I do like the look so far I'm getting there so you're designing your deck here and what's really important is these little cardboards which might become tin later on or whatever you want but they're really important because later on you want to put in your your um, railings down in here all the way along and this is your drill your spot for anchoring them up atop going through this deck and it'll anchor the deck in place but it'll give it that look and I'm also most likely going to plank the um, sides of the uh, cabins as well and put windows in them but this is my design at the moment and I've allowed an overlap on this here for the railing to come around this if I want to not too sure if that's where I'm going yet but that's a concept at the moment and I have it overhanging here so that it will hit the end of this deck and I can put a if I want something in there I don't think I will I think the pillows are in here maybe one here and one on the other side we'll see one sorry one here and one on the other side but leave the center open for the cap for visual reasons but there's going to be pillars all the way down the back like like matchsticks all the way down the back and around here after I get portholes and all that but I mean it's beginning to look kind of right needs a chimney behind this and then the little cabin on the end that it has in the drawing in the picture so I found this on you know the internet and I want to design the cabin like this boat for my boat with the chimney and that little bit more old-fashioned that's my idea of a design at the moment here's a closer view of the front of the ship the cabin I'm not doing the whole hull the same I might mild out my bow a bit but I'm going to do the same frontage here is this I like the character so let me show you what I've done yeah here we are and I've come up against a problem in the visual look because this is cut back further I made a smaller cabin and this isn't prolonged enough to make that kind of a feeling I want for the boat so I've decided to extend this out there like this and pull this cabin out and make the back longer so I have a bigger cabin area gives it more of a, um, a riverboat feel to it so I've just made these two but I have to extend this tin out extend the edges out so I have a lot of work to redesign this a little bit more to my liking so that's what I'm at at the moment so everything's changed again and as you can see you know it's going to be kind of like a river a bit like a riverboat freight cargo riverboat so tramp I think they call it or something so everything's changed I'll show it to you later yeah turn off this fan here I was to blow away the solder smoke from the dust I think I'm getting allergies now this is not glued on at all all this so there's the chimney now sometimes redesigning a boat is nearly more difficult than building a boat just by drawing because you, don't, you kind of have to keep changing and see I had to add on underneath here some little sticks and here you can see I extended the back deck so it's much longer to look more like the one on the thing. and here in the back I put a matchstick to lift it up a little so things change and you have to go with the flow I'm afraid and so when you lift these up you can you know put whatever you want this one has to lift back this way right but you could put jewelry in there or something if you wanted or something hid 
Sometimes I do that for the fun of it. And there you go. And it's beginning to look, see there's the brown a bit aging just to give me a feel for it really. It's not the finished product, but sometimes I need to know what I want to do and how I want it to feel. So that's where I'm at at the moment. But the designing has been teeth pulling because it keeps changing and then it changes again and then it changes again. Yeah, so I've done an awful lot of updates to this hull. I've added a section here that rises up and I brought the bow with the piece in here up so it's more straight, so it's more 1930s, 1940s. I had to level out this deck here because it was dipping. I had to bring it up. And at the moment I think you're reversing this tin deck so it's facing up so you can see the the windows and port portholes and that in the cabins later on. So that's really, I put all this wood on the siding for a certain look. I want it to look old, so I've been trying that out. If you can get some light down here, you can see the color on the side of the boat has got rust in it. I got to do the red on the bottom again. Um, I've just undercoated the um, cabins, except for this one, which I'm still cleaning up. Match sticks around the edges to give it that edge that's here. A little bit of edge, and here's the uh, engine room or whatever it is, leaving light down below, you know, downstairs into the uh, cabin below or whatever. So, so that's where I'm at. I'm com it's coming along nicely, as you can see. It's kind of like the King Kong River boat a bit. That's what I want it to look like, and I'll just keep on working on that. So here you can see I'm making doors. So they're each, it doesn't matter really the measurement, but I measured them 14, so I make a little punch hole, a little mark, a little mark. Then I use a square and put a pencil, pencil, pencil. And look, I've already done, made a couple here. There you go, look, with the doorknobs on them. So I pencil mark them all, then I mark out, same with the caliper, with the point of the caliper, I mark in. The door handles and then with this little precision drill thing here I go and drill little holes and poke the pins through a normal pin super, super glue them in and then cut them off and then when they're dry I put them on a grinder so that they're flat on the back right and then all you got to do is snip off your doors you just got to get the line really nice with the wire cutter and it's all exact right angles so and there's the door see and I'm making six of them right now there's around that I can't you gotta set the light right there you go and I just snip them off I put my finger there so it doesn't shoot all across out of the away from the table somewhere and there you go four five six seven doors that should be plenty I'll give them a little file to clean up the edges but in general they're ready to go so that's the doors made tips and tricks now I've been trying to make windows out of the woods as well the same way by clipping them and I like that idea because it's your already got your pre-cut size but I gotta go see whether I should do that or not.